Welcome back everyone, it is D-Pain, and we are going to be playing some more Minecraft. Now, this is a little bit different, I'm just probably going to say this for a few times for anyone that's wondering why all of a sudden Minecraft is named something different. Because uh, before it was lost in Minecraft, and I don't think I ever really explained why I named it that. Um, I hate it when I play a game. Get up there. Shift as run and then I come into here and it isn't but anyway um, just a quick little thing and then we're gonna go on so the reason why I called it lost in Minecraft which later I found out was a name for a, a like a custom map um, my mind's pulling a blank right here um, excuse me uh, but it was, one, it was a name for, for like, an adventure map or something, which I had no clue. I just named it Lost in Minecraft, and this is why, because every time I left this area, I was lost. I didn't know where I was going, and in some of the episodes, it's very obvious. But uh, for anyone that's new to the series, uh, what I do here is... I play Minecraft, uh, that's a given, um, but while I'm building and whatnot, like, there was just some, like, I was just thinking, there was just thoughts that I had, and I would try to express those thoughts and, and get everything out, um, while I was, while I was building, um, and just doing different things, um, because there's a lot of just straight building things, and there would be times where I wanted to talk, and let's be honest, I love playing Minecraft, but this isn't the mo most watched series that is out there on my channel. In fact, there really isn't a lot of series watched on my channel. But <laughs> besides that, um, this this is, um, yeah, me playing Minecraft while I'm ranting, which I originally was called... Um, mine ran. I'm trying to remember what it originally called. It was like rain scene in Minecraft or something. But uh, I just decided to call it Rantcraft, uh, where I will just find a subject to talk about and share about while I play um, Minecraft. And um, there will be times where I'm building. I'll get sucked into what I'm building, and I'll have to pause real quick. I haven't played this in a while, because I think the last time I played was before I went home. Um, or maybe it was right after. It was right after. I was caving. That's what it was. But, uh, yes. Yeah, so. Whoa, that worked out nice. Thinking about it. Let's get all this. So, what I want to share with you guys today is, is the thought of commitment. And now this may feel seem weird, and no, this isn't going to be something where I'm talking about, like, oh, subscribe to my channel and, and do these things. Um, when I'm talking about commitment, what I'm more talking about, I can't remember if Dark Oak Saplings actually grew out here, uh, was... Like, if you say you're going to do something to make sure that you finish it, that you are staying true to the task that you said that, yes, I, I'm committing to doing this. Um, and when I see this the biggest, for me personally, uh, I want to play it one. Is is with this with the YouTube channel. Um, I I personally feel like I am. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed wool. Don't know what the purpose of that was. But when when I record and whatnot, uh, I try to make the best content that I can, right? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, yada, yada, yada. So, 
in that, um, and me trying to do this is is doing that. But one thing that let's see, Dark Oak Zeppelin. Okay, sweet. Stays a Dark Oak Zeppelin. Uh, is that when I set a schedule, my upload schedule is Monday through Friday. I want to get two videos out a week. I mean, a day. Uh, that is something I personally set myself to. It wasn't something that someone was like, oh, you should do this. In fact, like I, I remember some, some of my friends when we were talking about getting this, doing this, because there's a little, there's a small grouping of people that we were talking and thinking about doing this together. Um, but when I told them, yeah, this is what I was thinking about doing, and they're saying, well, that might not be the greatest idea. And I agree, it's probably not the greatest, but this is, this is what I do. I... Melon and pumpkin. Okay. Uh, I want... I want to make this content for you guys. So... In doing that, it, uh... Like, in, like I... As I said in a previous episode, oh, it's getting dark. Let's go take a nap. Uh, I I enjoy making these episodes. If I didn't enjoy it, I probably would have quit a long time ago. Which, if you look at when I started, it was get in there. It was only uh, yeah, a couple of months ago. I started, I think, late February. Pretty sure it's the way to check that out. Uh. But, so, compared to some, some of these other people that put out amazing content on YouTube, it's like, okay, well, yeah. Well, this really was uh, made clear to me when I was, I, I was helping out with this event, and uh, because of that, I just didn't, I literally didn't have time to record, and it was one of these episodes, if you guys have been watching other episodes on my series, The Witcher, which has been giving me a, a good run around, a little bit of issues, um, hasn't been the most easiest thing, like, the game is mad fun, um, like, if anyone's listening to this first time, don't think that I'm not liking The Witcher, uh, it is, I am enjoying it so much, but... The biggest thing that is annoying me about The Witcher is the fact that because it's an older game and it doesn't run on Steam, it doesn't always work the greatest. So there's a lot of times when the game will crash. Um, I'd have had a lot of hard times in actual recording stuff uh, because it it just didn't work. Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, and the thing is, it's a mad fun game, um, I heard it's not a long game, I'll, and I'll also be honest with anyone listening, whoops, that's not what I want there, um, I, I want to finish it, in fact, I can't wait till I'm done with that game, uh, and that's, and, I actually had to end up playing that game very differently to how I normally play RPGs. Um, when I play RPGs, man, like, I want to find every single secret. Um, not every single secret, but when I find, like, a... Yeah, that will, that will work. You guys don't know what I'm building here. Let me, let me let you know a secret. Neither do I. So, in this... So in The Witcher though, because it, I've been having so many issues in recording it. Like there has been times when I, uh, oh, oh, let me throw. When, uh, like I've been crashing and all this stuff, and anyone listening is like, okay, well, what does that have to do with commitment? This week was the first time that. I missed a video in scheduling, and it was The Witcher, and it was because 
of everything that was going on, I just I wasn't able to sit down and record The Witcher. I don't want these here. And uh, and because I wasn't able just to sit down and record it, it it ruined some uh, time for for recording. Um, and now I'm a little bit behind in it. Um, like I've been trying so hard to get that series out on like a well scheduled time and all that, but that game just doesn't want to work with me. <laughs> um, hmm. Hold on one sec while I think what I want to make this out of. Wood. Uh, yeah. That should work. So, in that, uh, I missed the first episode of, like, of a series that I, like, I've committed to doing. Like, I slowly worked my way up from doing a video a day, uh, Monday through Friday, to doing, uh, one... One, uh, doing two videos a day, and and now The Witcher is something I've committed to completing. No matter how much that game is annoying me, and I just want to put it down, I've committed to finishing it. And because this week I did not put out an episode, I felt that even though, like I understand, like I I'll be realistic, like not everyone watches it. Be but because I did not put out an episode, I felt like I was not meeting the commitment that I set. Um, it's really easy to look at that and and say like, well, like, dude, you're a new channel. Uh, you don't have a lot of people watching. Like, dude, that's fine. Don't don't freak out. Like, in fact, I had a, a friend of mine and tell me he's like, is it really that big of a deal that you're not able to get it out? And this is what I'm thinking about. That is like, it's not so much that people are not watching it. It's the fact that I've committed to myself that uh, that this will be put out at this time. That I want to make sure that in doing this, I am not, like, if anyone comes to the channel and whatnot and just sees, like, oh, man, this is the schedule, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, wait, where did this channel video go? Um, in the long run, it's probably not that big of a deal. But to me... The moment I had half planks right there, goodness, or whatever they're called. Uh, in the long run, when I'm looking at this, uh, it's it's what I do. And my challenge that I would want to give to y'all. I already have orange. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Is when you guys say committed. To stay to your commitments. And I know that's not something that's super popular nowadays because it's like, well, no, whatever works for me is like, that's what I'm going to do. It's not that big of a deal if I can't do this. And I don't know, I've been a firm believer. If you say yes to something, you you do it to your best of your abilities. And like, I understand that not, not every time that. There's there's things that come up like I don't know if your your parent like if your family member dies or or something and like that that is super sad that if that happens but when I look at this I see I see a lot of people that okay I don't want it like that um, that will look at a commitment. And not keep it because it wasn't convenient for them, which I think is dumb. You don't make commitments uh, because it was easy for you. You don't make commitments. Uh, actually, no, that's where it was supposed to go. <laughs> uh, because, like, you are are doing that, like. You make a commitment because you are giving yourself up 
calling for something that you are you are showing gonna get that <laughs> you are uh, like pretty much when you break a commitment let's just see like, let's let's think about this for a sec so say that you and your friends are going out to doing this and you there's always that one friend that everyone's like oh man I'm not sure if he's gonna back out I'm not sure if this guy's gonna come through on this whatever whatever we all something up. We all have that person that we're thinking of when I say this. However, how many of your friends would say that you oops, are that person? That you are the person that isn't committed and you know how bad that feels. And that is what I feel when that's what I felt like I I made a promise with with everyone with the channel that I missed. Like was was I busy at the time? Yes. Like could I have made time to to get this out? Yes. Um but let's Let's think about it. I mean, there's a bunch of video clips, a bunch of storylines based off of commitment uh, to people. Like, if you guys have a girlfriend or boyfriend, like you, you're committed to that person. Uh, when you go into a relationship, you don't just say, "Yeah, man, this is just good for a few minutes," and if you, or like a little while, if you do, man, like. Let's just be honest. That's super immature. Um, you don't just get into relationships just because it's like, oh man, this seems like a good time on Tuesday. No, like you, you're committed to that person. I'm. You. You don't just when you get into an argument break it up and say, well. Oh, I thought something was on fire, and say like, well, that was a nice time. Like no, you. If you're really, truly. Are ooh, committed to something, to a cause, to a person, to anything. You just don't give up at the first sight. You want to make it work, and that's what I want to do for you guys. And that's what I hope you guys that are watching. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Uh, are striving for as well, because who wants to? Like, who wants to have a person that works? Like, we all hear about that one person that was like, yeah, they they weren't really committed. Uh, so, like, I'll be honest, I am one of the most elite people in the world. I have the hardest time making sure I stay on time. Like, uh, to getting to places. But, in that, I want to make sure that I keep my commitments. And, I don't know, sometimes I feel that's something that is missing sometimes, and I'm running long. So, and I've been saying the same thing over and over and over. I don't prepare these things. As I said, they're ranked. I don't plan them, I just I just talk. And as this building gets continued, we will see what it turns into. I'll be honest, I don't know what it's going to be. It looks pretty cool right now. So... As I'm running long on time, my challenge, actually, I'm gonna just do this so I don't get eaten. My challenge to everyone that so happened to listen to this and was wondering like, what is this nerd talking about commitment? Is just think, how bad do you feel when someone doesn't keep the promises that they made you? Saying like, yeah man, we'll do this. Yeah girl, we're gonna go out and hit the town and then they don't. And we know how bad that feels. But let's think about it. How many times, and I'm thinking about this myself, do I do this to myself? Do I go to other people and say, yeah, 
I'll help you out, man. Or, and then I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot, or I'm late and growing up. And like, even a commitment is that something I get yelled at a lot and that I really want to work on is caying on time. And it's like, it's all these little things that help grow your relationship with other people. And I'm not just talking about girlfriend, boyfriend, but just like life relationships with like your parents, your brothers, your friends, your sisters. And my challenge for everyone here is just just think about when it comes down to commitment, how committed are you? Are you just there for fun, fluffy fluff time, or or just doing whatever you think you can do? Like just using relationships to please you? Oh my gosh, these monsters are going nuts. Or are you a person that's like, I want to see the best for the people around me and I'm willing to help them? Which is a foreign concept, I know. But we're out of time. So this is D-Pain. Uh, it is D-Pain. And uh, yeah, we're signing off. Next time we'll talk about another subject. Um, oh, and before I, I leave, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I have a, a Facebook and a Twitter. Um, I don't know. I don't like really saying, hey, if you like, the, leave a like on the video and all that stuff. But man, if you... If you thought this was a good thing that you needed to hear or whatever, sure, leave a like. I'll leave it up to you. Talk at you later. See you.